My first experience with racism occurred when I was 10 years old in 1968. My family had just moved to a place called Belmont, Massachusetts. And I was one of two black kids in my entire school, 10 years old in fourth grade. I joined the Cub Scouts, and we had a parade, a march, from Lexington to Concord, Massachusetts, to commemorate the ride of Paul Revere. Somewhere down the parade route, as I was marching with my fellow scouts, I began getting hit by bottles, soda pop cans, rocks, and debris from the street by a small group of white spectators off to my right on the sidewalk. I had no idea that I was the only person getting hit until my den mother and other scout leaders came rushing over and huddled over me with their bodies and escorted me out of the danger. And they never explained why this was happening to me. And I had no clue. When I got home, my mom and dad were fixing me up with Band-Aids and Mercurochrome, and they explained to me why I was a target of these projectiles. At the age of 10, I formed a question in my mind, and that question was, how can you hate me when you don't even know me? <laughs> 